What's up, Doombots? ISO 8 classes, quick start guide. We're going to start right here on Striker, move our way through all of them. But it is a quick start guide, so let's be quick about it. Striker is the first one we're going to cover. It is a raw damage output ISO 8. You want to put it on characters that have either very high damage stats, high damage multipliers, basically the characters that hit hard, and hit i don't want to say fast but relatively often as long as it's single target attacks this is probably going to be one of the best overall resources you can put into that character let's take a quick look at striker and determine where the value points lie so at level one one iso across the board you're basically just getting the opportunity for a bonus attack if the target has vulnerable on them, now strikers can't place vulnerable on them themselves, they need somebody else to do that, but if the target is vulnerable, a striker will get a bonus attack equal to 50% of their damage stat. In addition, they will also gain 5% of their base damage added to their total. Overall, incredibly useful for characters that have high damage numbers. It's not as useful for characters with low damage numbers or maybe characters that are under invested in, in your roster. But as you go on and invest more, you'll see that it kind of pushes your characters to the next level. I'm not going to talk about level 2 and 4. Those are the same for everything. It's always health. So level 3, that's usually the point in every ISO 8 class where you start feeling a difference. In this situation, you're getting an additional 5% damage to your total character kit, as well as another 25% damage on this ISO 8 bonus attack. What's very important to know is the ISO 8 bonus attack is very similar to an assist or a counter attack, even though it's not exactly one of those. The damage is based exclusively on what the rank of your ISO class is, but the effects are based on what your character would do. So, in some situations, you can find characters that aren't necessarily the highest damage dealers, but have some cute little effects whenever they hit on their basic. That's going to end up being incredibly relevant. We'll look at that a little bit later. Uh, at level 5, the final level, you gain another 5% damage, making it a total of 15% of your base damage stat increase. In addition, you're getting the last 25%, making your ISO 8 bonus attack 100% of your now quite large damage stat. That's pretty much it. Very simple. You don't have to worry too much about the details on that. But, as you can see, I've chosen Captain Marvel as one of the first people to look at to kind of get an idea of why it's relevant for her. We take a step back, look at her overall kit. Even though my Captain Marvel is 78,000 power, uh, and her damage stat isn't incredibly high. It is a slightly decent upgrade to her damage stat, and that's only at rank 1. Were I to bring her up to rank 3, that extra 5%, another six, seven, eight hundred damage total, very relevant numbers based on her kit. And if you want to look at other characters, you'll get a general idea of whom you can utilize for. Now, as we said, a lot of it is about big damage characters. So when I think characters whose entire job is to do damage, I tend to think of characters like blasters or brawlers for the most part. And I kind of already have a couple of characters in, in mind and I'll show you them as I go back one more. Uh, pretty standard issue, Black Bolt, Captain Marvel, and Punisher are characters whose only job is to do a ton of damage. With that, if you pay attention to their base damage stats and you increase them through Striker, they will do their damage better. Black Bolt's one of the highest damage dealers in the game. Punisher, a little bit more situational, but with a lot of how his kit works with the defenders and now with the military tag, getting those extra attacks in at higher damage output is relevant, ignoring the fact that he might get the bonus uh, attack from the Striker ISO 8 attack. So, looking at the characters that just do damage, it's kind of a no-brainer. On the other side, you have characters like Venom and Ghost, where their damage is not obviously the reason you would pick these characters, but their basic abilities 
improve the overall quality of what these characters are doing. Venom's basic flips buffs into debuffs. Um, therefore, if he were to hit again with an ISO 8 bonus attack, it would flip debuffs again. And there's plenty of characters that do that off the top of my head. I can think of characters like Emma and Scream. Overall, any ability to flip or ghosts, for example, on her basic, she can turn rewind a person. So if they have vulnerable on them, they will be turn rewind twice, rewound twice. And then you have the best of both worlds where Black Bolt's basic also removes buffs. So you can technically remove up to four buffs from a character if Black Bolt hits a vulnerable character, depending on how things line up. So that's the full value of the Striker ability. Not every single team is going to have a character that needs Striker overall. Not every single character will benefit dramatically from Striker, regardless of where you are. But if you're going to test out the ability, since it costs nothing to swap to a level 1 version of the ability, you can, by all means, start with Striker early or as you're leveling or investing in characters to kind of get a feel for how much damage they might be able to put out. And then later, as you decide to maybe swap to another one, feel free to make that swap and then start investing more and more to make sure you hit that level 2 and level 3. Striker is overall probably one of the most versatile abilities because it affects a wide range of characters from high damage dealers to utility basic characters, and you're probably going to get a lot of value out of them. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully you can kind of look at this and say that makes sense and do me a favor, comment below, let me know characters that you're using Striker on that are obvious choices and let me know some of the less obvious choices. I've tried to put a couple in there that are not necessarily immediate. Oh, I would totally put damage on these characters because of that extra utility, but you might have some that I can't put on this. So hopefully this was quick, hopefully this was painless, and hopefully you're going to pay attention to the next one as we go into more of our ISO classes. Have a good night, have a great day. I've been Tony Scangeli, and I'll catch you later.